Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and how are you? And um, welcome to the late one with, on Business and Lifestyle Live with Silver and Sibyl. Yeah, I'm your host and I want to invite you to, uh, let me just check in something here. I want to invite you to a very interesting show today. And the show is very interesting because we're talking about hair. Can you imagine hair? Um, <laughs> I've got hair, you know? Strange. I've never done a show like this before, you know? As, as about, oh, you're watching both platforms. Fantastic, Tubbs, yeah. So I've got Salwin Baxter. Uh, she is the CEO and the founder of um, Ruta Tip, yeah, ultra passionate, popular natural hair care brand and uh, brand supplier, super efficient problem solving hair care product. She started making for my London kitchen after suffering with hair loss um, and finding nothing in the shop to care for her young daughter's thick, dry, afro hair. So what she have done, she's actually saying, um, She's got the solution to problems with hair. Before I actually invited Sal on the show, I said, am I qualified? Because I've got no hair. So I want to deal with that issue first before we proceed in regards to my hair. Sal, <laughs> good afternoon. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Happy to be on your show again. Fantastic. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Um, when was it, 2015 I saw it? With, 2016. With to see, oh, all right, good, good. Well, at least somebody I was testing you to make sure if you had done your <laughs> research, you know. Uh, Sal, before we go any further, as to how you are and I was locked down, uh, why am I qualified to talk about hair as a bald man? A bald rascal. Well, I'm sure at some point you were, you were bald, you were born with hair at some point, right? <laughs> you had think, hair when yeah. you were born, lost it along the way. So, you yeah. know about hair. <laughs> well, but my. You know about my hair. My colleague on Instagram there is laughing because uh, he said, I'm losing hair at the top of his head, you know, so, and, and he knew <laughs> me when I was here in Jamaica and Ultrarious as well, you know. Uh, well, listen, I want to thank you for coming on the show, um, Sal. And uh, as I said, one of the purpose of this show is to give some tool, give some tips. And and there's something in your, in, in, in what you say, I saw you put up a story today about the tips. Um, during the lockdown period here, lots of persons are going through different things. I've seen where somebody broke the quarantine and was doing hair in his house or so. And lots of people are actually not able to do their hair. And yeah. they're asking that lots of ladies are not online putting their, their, their real picture up because guess what? Their hair is not done. So I said, <laughs> let, me, let me actually use this opportunity to say if I can empower ladies as well at the same time. So tell mm -hmm. us now. First of all, how are you and how has lockdown been to you? And let's get on with the road. Yeah. Do you know what it's been it's been it's been an interesting time as it is for everybody. But um mm. it's been a time to to pivot. If you're if you're someone like myself who's very creative, then yes. you're thinking of new ideas all the time. Um for example, we started introducing more lives on our own channel for our own our own customers, our own fans. So it's been it's been pretty good, but our our business has increased by about our sales have increased by about 300%. We had so many orders online. So I think it's been a great time for our black business to have an opportunity to get in front of their key customer without having to reach them before they get to the Indian man shop. Nothing wrong with the Indian man shop, beauty shop. However, I think it's, uh, it's important to support your own because yes. um, there's a lot of bad chemicals in the, in the industry, in the hair care industry, and our products are very clean. I think it's really important that black people, in particular black women, identify with natural, clean hair care products because mm. those bad chemicals are often found in the other shops, in commercial brands, lead to so many unhealthy, unhealthy conditions in the body. So I'm, yeah. really, I'm really an advocate for, for clean hair products. And, and, and also you mentioned about the fact that um, business has catapult. I think yes, you said like 300% or so. Um, yeah. So, so so what you're saying, what you're, what you're getting in a week is normally so like a, a month sort of um, work. No yeah, time. absolutely. Absolutely. It's, I think obviously people are, are especially people who have um, small children, we have a children's brand, a really good children's brand. And my daughter's hair is like waist length, has been waist length since she was like four years old. Very thick, dry, yeah. crazy Afro hair. But um, yes. I know how to maintain and grow hair. So I try to, I've made, I've manufactured products that actually work really well. So people are now telling people and they're trying to find a way to fix the children's hair whilst they're at home because normally they're at school. And a yes. lot of parents hate having, their, um, a lot of parents would often take their children to the hair salon 
and they can't do that now. So they're trying to find something to untangle the hair, to make the hair feel moisturized. So it's been a good time for us. I think it's been a great time for us. Not for everybody, um, but it's been good for us. So, so, so therefore, what, so what you're actually saying then is that uh, it's a bit, it's a bit of a strange one. It, it, it is that COVID, in a certain way, having a, um, a lot of parents that often take their children to the hair salon, yes. and they can't do that now. So they're trying to find something to untangle the hair to make the hair feel moisturized. <laughs> so it's been I can hear myself. For us. <laughs> for us. Not for everybody, um, yes. but it's been good for us. So COVID has been. So, so therefore, what, so what you're actually saying then is that. Sorry, I think I'm thinking I'm getting that. It's a bit of a strain. Am I getting the feedback here? COVID in a certain you are. Let me see if I let me see if I can rectify it here. Okay. You know, I'm, I'm going to run this joke, and it's, it's a very funny joke. Why we sort out the technicality here? So, uh, if somebody say to me, sometimes they can hear twice, or they hear an echo. All I say to them, thank God that at least you can hear twice, because some people can't. Hear <laughs> You know, um, yeah. Is it okay now? No feedback yet. So, so, so therefore, it's interesting you said that because one of the things I've been speaking to persons about is about during the course of COVID, um, yeah. benefit their business as their business gone down. I've seen whereby people are on furlough, people are actually struggling, but at the same time, there are people who are actually seeing some very green lights, some actually positive shoots, like your at this time. Do, do you do you feel that in light of the many death which is around that one shouldn't celebrate the success now? How do you think about that? I, I, it's, I know I shown of course we didn't. Yeah. What in terms of about? so so um, if I'm hearing you correctly, you're saying even if people have died, I mean people are dying throughout the year anyway. It's just uh, it's compounded because it's it's COVID and we're in a pandemic. And, and the media is highlighting these deaths on a daily basis. Yeah. I think if they highlighted the deaths surrounding the flu and everything else, heart attacks, you'd be hearing similar numbers as well. However, yeah. so, um, of course, it's horrible for anyone who's lost a parent, a family member. It's a horrible time for a lot of people. But you still have to survive. Yeah. So um, for ourselves, I've just really, we really just had to put our heads down and think of a way of really trying to connect with a customer. And... Mm -hmm. um, finding new ways of, of actually just really providing a solution to their hair care issues so we yeah. do a lot of live sessions we give a lot of advice on a daily basis and our products work to really bring a solution to dry hair to dry scalp all the things you're dealing with dry hair yeah. dry scalp hair loss breaking hair we have something in our range to deal with that but yeah. if i started from a point of having hair loss myself so i know what it's like to have hair loss i know what it's like to have dry scalp dry hair and I know it doesn't feel good I also know what it's like to have amazing feeling moisturized hair hair that's healthy hair that mm. looks alive you know the hair is dead so we really are about making sure you you're practicing your self-care and taking yeah. care of your hair I think now's the time to really get to know your hair again a lot of people who are you know maybe under the weight as you were going to say um I was going on to the tips there but yeah it's it's a time to just experience your hair again, maybe restart a hair journey, trim your hair, maybe um, do a big shot if you want to start going natural. If you're not going back to work for a couple of months, you're furloughed, you're, you now have more time to spend on yeah. your hair. I think it's really important to connect with your hair because our hair is, is a massive part of our identity as black women, mm. mixed race women, men as well, even children. It's a huge part of who, who we are. And once our yeah. hair feels healthy and happy, we can we're okay we're good yes 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 we're good now, yeah now um it, it's interesting what you what you're saying about the hair and, and empowering persons to do hair i know a couple of other persons as well who are doing um lots of online zoom consultation do you think yeah. that somehow with the empowering of persons to do their own hair that somehow they will start to do their own hair and somehow after lockdown, there could be a dip in business for person like hairdressers. Not you personally. No way. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's always going to be, I think with black women in particular, we love to go to the salon. Um, yeah. If you have a salon who's like a good friend, you're always going to be there, whether you haven't losing it. If you're losing your house, you're losing your, you know, you're always going to be at the hair. Your hair has to look good. You know how the women are, especially in Jamaica. No matter yeah. what, your hair has to look on point. So I think 
if you've got a good hairdresser, she's your best friend. You're with mm. her for life, irrespective of anything else. So yes, I think yes. it's the same with um, having a quality hair product too. Once you find mm. a quality product, no matter what's happening in the world, they're going to spend money on that product. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the show and those on Instagram as well, who are, who are actually there joining in on Instagram. I've seen the minister... Chris Tufton or his people who are there from Jamaica as well. And um, we can go on to the Facebook Live and actually see it. And um, those from Ultraris and those from the States as well and uh, on the replay. Now, one of the things that Sa well, Salwin Baxter I have here, who is the CEO and uh, founder of Root to Tip um, on Business and Lifestyle Live. Let us get into these tips now, the, the, the gem of how black women and uh, men who have hair and then you can drop in one for men who have no hair. <laughs> How? What are the tips now? So go for it. <laughs> What's your first thing? Okay. I think I think the first thing I would say is just to let your hair breathe. I find yeah. that a lot of women who wear wigs, maybe weaves, and who can't get to the salon, now's the time to just let the hair be loose. Let your scalp yeah. breathe. You know, let it um get that good oxygen, carbon dioxide running through the follicles, running through the pores in the scalp. Just give your hair a break. Um, from the normal stuff you normally do mm. just let your hair be um you know just just give it some air air it out i would say let it yeah. breathe and just let it alone because even your hair sometimes needs a break from being styled on a daily basis from being stuck underneath a protective style if you are wearing a wig or a weave you know it's, it's just nice to just feel the breeze running through your hair and not do anything to it right so i guess so what you're actually saying is just like how we're in the lockdown period and whereby yeah. we are able to now stop and chill and take check and have some respite. You're saying, let it flow, let it go, you know? Absolutely. Let it go. Where's my daughter? Let it go. Yeah. Let it go. Yeah. So, but, but that is the first stage, isn't it? That would be like the first stage. It is. It is the first stage, but I think, I speak to so many women in the week and a lot of women who, um, for example, who can't get to the salon or are still waiting to see their hairdressers, I just don't know what to do with their hair. You know, they mm. might want to try styling it. So, for example, I would say just before you think about brushing and combing hair that's been, you know, maybe in a protective style for a long time, just leave it for a moment. Let mm. it just do its thing and then set up some hair goals, as we'll talk about in a minute. But just let it do its thing and then before you start attacking it with a brush and a comb, you've got to treat it first. Mm. You know, our hair is magnificent, it's unique. However, it needs to be treated in a particular way to get a particular yeah. result from your hair. And, and can I ask a question? Is it, it, is it sure. only natural hair you do? Can you hear me? Um, well, yes, our products um, are manufactured. They're natural ingredients, 98 to 100% natural ingredients, but they're for any hair texture and type. Um, relaxed hair, natural hair is the same. It's made of the same um kind of material keratin obviously if the hair is relaxed it has a chemical applied so it's gone through a processing treatment but it's still the same material so it still needs moisture it still needs oiling the scalp it still needs protein to strengthen it so we have a product range for everybody in anyone's hair texture and type relaxed okay. or natural fantastic so so ladies and gentlemen <laughs> I, I have to say ladies and gentlemen that's all my choice ladies and gentlemen yeah. because maybe like tubs and a couple persons or male um what you need to do is mm -hmm. to say to your your lady or, or say to yourself let your hair breathe let it let go it breathe. let, let it, go. it go let it go let it flow you know and um you know sorry i should i should have had a little wig or something like that i could just flash it, <laughs> <up>. <laughs> <Let> it <go. laughs> yeah. okay and, and the next and the next one sad well, the next thing is, I think it was um, to trim the hair. Um, mm. What I find is, again, a lot of, no, no, sorry, no, add water. Add water mm. to your hair for the next bit, yeah. in order. Um, add water to your hair um, at least once a week. So, for example, if I'm a lady who um, maybe I wear braids in my hair, um, usually I'm going to work looking professional. I think I need to wear braids or I'm, my hair's under a wig or a weave. Or if I'm natural, I might not be washing my hair very frequently. But our hair loves water it loves water immensely you know the hair strand itself is comprised of water but we've been taught as black women and black people in our community that you mustn't wash your hair too much because it dries out your hair and that's a myth i often debunk what actually dries your hair is that is, is the chemicals in the shampoo you're using so for yeah. example if you are only washing your hair um with a sulfate containing or a drying shampoo that's going to dry your hair 
So what I say to women is, is in this lockdown period is to at least try and rinse your hair once a week. Yes. Um, you don't have to always use shampoo. You can use a conditioner. We have a co-wash conditioner and it works really well. When you co-wash your hair once a week, you add moisture to the hair. Yes. And the hair feels, it feels more luscious. It feels more alive. And again, our hair loves water. It, it responds mm. really well to water. So, and so a scalp thing, too, actually. Yeah. So, so, the, so this thing about going into the beach and going and using water, that's, what about that one there? <laughs> um, you mean seawater? I don't know about that. I mean, seawater is water, dry. Water, water, you know, people, don't, you know, people don't go into water. They don't, but they should do. I mean, that's the thing. I mean, we need to, we need to embrace water. It's, our, it's one of our hairs. It's nature's natural moisturizer. And yeah. for me personally, my scalp's used to being very clean. So I cannot go a week without washing my hair or rinsing my hair through. Yeah, it, starts yeah. to, it starts to yearn for that feeling of just being clean. And your hair grows a lot more when you wash it regularly too. The scalp is clear of bacteria. The follicles are free of germs and dirt. Mm. And it grows so much more, especially in the summertime as well. Okay, okay. So wash at home. Try and just rinse your hair through. Just rinse it through. Um, make sure the water is not too hot. Make sure it's like lukewarm to cool. Rinse it through. Use a mild conditioner. Um, have a look at our website. Our conditioner is amazing. Rinse it through. Squirt through your conditioner, and let it feel just soft and voluptuous and just nourished. <laughs> yeah. Well, let I can see happy. that uh, uh, Tubbs there is a gentleman who seems to be very more proactive than the ladies, if anything. Sound advice. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't mind, you know, please share this video as well um, to your friends and foes and enemies and uh, mates or whatever like that. And on Instagram, <laughs> thank you for your interaction as well. And do interact. Any questions you want, um, Sal can answer it. And at the same time, she can maybe even answer questions after when it's in the thread as well. So feel free sure. and you're invited to do so as well. And and of course, we'll you can see her website, which is scrolling below as well, where you can get the products. Do you do products internationally or just in the UK? We do international, yeah. We have loads of customers all over the world. Yes, international, yeah. everywhere. In Jamaica. In Jamaica. Everywhere. Jamaica, Jamaica. Um, well, we haven't actually shipped to Jamaica yet, but we do. But we haven't before. But um, we do Nigeria, Ghana. We haven't been to had Jamaica yet. So I would love to, to come to Jamaica and launch our brand over there at some point. That's in my in my future goals okay um but um i was gonna say the second tip third was it the second? Yeah. third tip sorry yeah. third tip was to um i said what i say i said me trim your hair i think that's a yeah. third tip yeah. is to yeah. have a look at the condition of your hair be honest with yourself be really honest with yourself because sometimes hair to women is a very is a personal and particular thing men don't really understand this but if we have an, if we're having any kind of hair issue, for example, some women are wearing wigs because they're suffering with alopecia. Sometimes they have a, they have a scalp condition. Maybe your edges are something you need to work on. Now's the time to really be honest with yourself. Be honest yeah. with the state of your hair as it is now, and try and make a plan towards um, making it, making it into your hair potential, making it into the hair you want it to be. So I would say, trim your hair in lockdown. Have a look at the strands. Does your hair need a trim? It might need a cut. Think about starting over. Don't be afraid to let go of those, those loose ends or the straggly ends and the split ends and try and refresh your hair. Can I just ask a question? You said trim hair, but many people are having struggles yeah. getting their hair trimmed at this time, isn't it? They are, but I think um, I would say now's the time to try and do a DIY trim. Um, I spoke to a customer last week and she trimmed her hair herself. Another one trimmed her hair on um, last weekend. So it was, it was two customers last week I encouraged to trim their own hair. And they yeah. felt their hair felt fantastic. There's no more shedding, no more small pieces of hair falling off. Once you trim your hair as well, it looks a lot thicker and a lot more healthier. And you're giving your hair a, a clean start to really grow up really healthy again. So right. DIY. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, the first thing is let your hair breathe. And then next, yes. what you do, you add water at least once per week. And then yeah. you trim your hair as much as possible. And if, if you want to follow my pattern, I just shave. <laughs> Same thing I do is for my hair. So if you want to make life easy, you can just follow that suit. I'm just jiving still. So I'm <laughs> 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 and you're <fortunate. laughs> 
And the fourth tip is to strengthen your hair. Add protein. Um, I've spoken mm. to, a, again, many women recently over the past four weeks, five weeks, six weeks in lockdown, eight weeks almost. And um, nine times out of ten, these ladies are not using any protein treatment. And a lot of the struggles they're having is because their hair is quite in a weak condition, especially yeah. if you're somebody who styles your hair on a regular basis. Um, people don't realize that, like the body, our hair contains and it needs protein to strengthen the strands. So I would say make sure you use a protein mask. A protein mask is really mm. important. We have a really amazing protein mask on our website. It contains three different forms of hydrolyzed protein extracts. Hydrolyzed in the sense that they're really small molecules of protein. So it really penetrates into the hair shaft and hair strands. Mm. And it will, it will actually get to work and strengthen in the core of the strand itself. So your hair feels, it looks stronger. It's not breaking off as much. It's not, fra it's not, it's not as fragile. Um, so add protein. Do a good protein mask. Strengthen the hair. Again, on that road to being your healthiest hair yet. So add protein, make sure your hair is feeling strong. And if you haven't had protein in a while, now's the time to do so. Yeah. Do you do consultation? Do you do like consultation, like on videos and uh, with, with persons at this time, ladies at this time? I do actually, yeah, I do. I do, I do um, um, Skype consultations and consultations via Zoom as well. So we do do that, yeah. Okay, 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 cool. Because that's an area which, which, which has picked off a lot where persons are now able to have that one-on-one -on -one consultation with their clients. So what they're doing, they're keeping their clients yeah. as close as possible. Uh, I'm sure yeah. maybe they they are doing like, you know, persons maybe have their camera and whatever. I can just imagine um, what could be going on in, in a particular case, yeah? No. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. And, and number number five, I believe now, yeah. Number five was to make sure your 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 moisturizing routine is um is down pat. Make sure your hair is feeling really moisturized. And what I mean by that is, well, our hair is always dry. It's born inherently dry from the time it comes out of the scalp. So we have to make mm. sure we moisturize our hair on a daily basis. And many people, when you're busy, you're working, you're rushing around, doing the school run, you may not. You may not always have the correct moisturizing routine. So I would say incorporate some really good moisturizing products um, from root to tip in yeah. your regime, like our Quench anti rakish cream or our, um, our Triple M milk. That one's really, really good. And just moisturize your hair so it feels alive, even though the hair is dead. I think if you're using mm. the right products, your hair can look like it's alive. It's only alive at the root. The rest of the strand is completely dead. But with our products that I think our products really resurrect dry hair, bring yes. them back to life. As someone said today, actually, I had a customer who put that on her status. She got her package through. She ordered, it, and she said, "Oh, these products here are going to bring my daughter's hair, my two daughters' hair, right back to life." So, you need to incorporate products that actually work really well on your hair, um, that actually make your hair feel nourished for more than one day, for a couple of days. Because if you're using, for example, I'm going to say a name, a can two product. And using it on day one, and then by the night when your hair is feeling crispy and dry, throw it yes. away. Try something new. The more natural the product is, the more it has a natural affinity to your hair strands, and it will make your hair just feel. I don't know. It's, it's like I don't know. I, I just want everyone's hair to feel how a root to tip head of hair feels. I know when someone's using root to tip product, I see it on their hair. Their hair looks like it's just it's just full of life and volume, blowing in the wind. Right, even right. it's it's brilliant. And, and what are what are some of those products names? Remind me of the ones that uh, people can do for the moisturizing. Like so, for example, uh, one of our, our top selling products um, during lockdown has been the um, the Honey Rain Juice. This one here, yeah. Honey Rain Juice, is a brilliant detangler, and we have it in the adults and the kids version. And you just spray mm. on uh, spray it on your hair. If your hair's in twists, for example, if your hair's in braids, if your hair's braided back because you wear a wig throughout the week, you just spray that on your hair on a daily basis yes. and it leaves your hair feeling strengthened. It contains vitamin B5, aloe vera, shea butter as well. It's one of our number one selling products, but it also helps to, to, to um, untangle the hair as well. A lot of parents are complaining, complaining about their children's hair being very knotty, very dry. What do I yes. use? And they're desperate to find something that works. They've tried everything. Um, we also have a WhatsApp group for parents as well, um, a children's hair care WhatsApp group. We just launched that this week. 
that's another, yeah. that's another new thing we added to our boat to really just reach out and keep our customer close and give them advice. Yeah, so that's, that's been right. working really well. But um, sorry, no, 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 I was just saying that that must be um, something because a lot of parents now not in school and have their children that need to get their hair done as well. So I guess the parents are now doing it. Yeah, they do. So many, right yeah, parents are actually parents are quite stressed out. I mean, I've got one daughter. I'm glad I've got one daughter. I've got three sons. I'm so pleased that I just have one daughter's head of hair to deal with, and even her hair. It takes me a while to get to her hair. So <laughs> I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually do a live session tomorrow, detangling yeah. her hair because her hair is so knotty right now. But I said to her, just leave the hair alone. Forget the bun. Just leave it because I know that once the hair's left alone. It's not being damaged. It might yeah. be knotty and tangly, but I can untangle that with the honey rain juice in three, two, one is good. But yeah. um, I find that if you're, I said, another parent said to me that um, the daughter wants to have the hair out. She's brushing it every day. I said, stop. Stop brushing the hair every day. That's one of the things that our hair is not able to withstand being brushed on a daily basis. A lot yes. of people just do not know how to treat their hair according to its natural condition. Afro yeah. hair is amazing. It looks thick. It looks strong. But even hairdressers sometimes, they can be very harsh on the hair. So now's the time for you, as you're at home, to connect with your child's hair as well. Um, mm. Join us on Instagram, at root to tip um, yeah. And we put up regular advice on the Instagram page. We also have a YouTube channel too. Yeah. I do videos on there showing how I look after other, other children's hair and my daughter's hair. Yeah. So it's really important to just reconnect with the hair, try and put Put, a, put like a I don't know an agenda in place for your hair, so you stick to it on a weekly basis. But um, try to get into in, try to get into a, a good place with, with you and your child's hair, rather than making it um you know I'm only going to the salon once a month. That's it, you know. And I don't know anything about her hair. I hate doing her hair because you're gonna then pass on those insecurities and fears onto your child. Yes. I think that you know hair should be a bonding experience between you and your child, your daughter, your son. It should be a time where you know they enjoy having their hair done, not just see it as a you know a painful experience as well. Yeah, my my, my son uh, when he was small, as, as he's still yeah. small, you think he's big, but he's still small. Um, the <laughs> we we his hair was very long, and I, yeah. I did a cut of his hair. I cut his hair once, and uh, I think it went a bit pear shaped. And uh, <laughs> we took him to the barber, and the barber said. What, what happened there? What happened there? <laughs> <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> well, anyway, um, Pasha, uh, a lady who was online and she, she just logged in and she missed. The yeah, first part. hi, Pasha. Me, how are you doing? Yeah. What's your take? Me on, have, have you seen that question? What's your take on Ayurvedic oil? I absolutely love them. Love, 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 love them. In fact, my first actual. Mm. Um, the first product I created in my kitchen over about, I think, over 10 years ago now was this one here, the Root Energizer. This product here is amazing. Yeah. This product is a little powerful bottle of magic, and it contains um, three different Ayurvedic extracts. So um, Amla, Brahmi, Bringraj, and curry leaf extract as well. It's amazing. Ayurvedic extracts really, 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 really do deliver um at the root so for example if your hair if you're suffering with hair loss they're very powerful um and they're used by the indians and the indian community i was first introduced to it by a man in an indian shop and said to me you know what well, you should make you should try this oil out but i kind of put my own spin on the oil research into in extracts as well combined with essential oils as well and did a lot of research into how natural extracts ayurvedic and also essential oils help to regrow our hair naturally when I had my hair loss, it was um, <laughs> she put a protein treatment on henna. Brilliant, amazing. Henna is um is fantastic actually. Pasha, she said she she got a protein mask. I don't, I think I had in my hair last week. I had in my daughter's hair maybe every two weeks. She has a henna gloss. So if your hair is feeling feeling dry and damaged, and you want to try out henna, you should check out our protein mask. Um, our protein mask it contains henna. So you don't have to mix it yourself. But I think henna's brilliant. I think Ayurvedic extracts, herbs, oils, rinses are brilliant for black women's hair because they fortify the strands and deliver nutrients mm -hmm. in the blood, mm -hmm. under the roots, to the follicles to really strengthen and re reinvigorate them to really grow hair where there's been no activity mm -hmm. for a while. So I love Ayurvedic herbal extracts. <laughs> well, on Instagram, um, yeah. uh, 
Dr. Peach said, my, my, my goddaughter suffers with dermatitis in her scalp. Yeah. Anything you would suggest? Absolutely. That's another question I love because yeah. I, had a, I had a condition myself called seborrheic dermatitis. So that led me to producing yes. this product here it's called the Grow It Long Scalp Serum. And it contains um, it's instant dandruff relief, hair growth, and active mineral particles. So it basically it has a, has a, um, it slows down the, es the excess, excess shedding or flaking on the scalp and it soothes the scalp. So this product is brilliant for psoriasis, sea bright dermatitis, scalp eczema, you can see a scalp eczema, anything to do with dry itchy scalp, this product right here is what you're looking for. And I have loads of clients and customers who have eczema. One lady had a really bad condition like five years ago. She's still using the product today and her scalp was really pussy and bleeding or so sore. She said it's the only thing she'd used before in her life that's actually worked. So everything I've produced is because I had an issue or problem, hence why they're very effective mm. in how they work. I don't see the point of having a product on the market just because natural hair is trending. So you have to be you have to be really wise yes, nowadays, yes. people. Uh, uh, Emily Reynolds um, yeah. said I didn't he said I didn't realize I had no hair until you mentioned it. He's hurt. <laughs> 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 People say hair. Hair relaxants make hair drop out. Hair relaxers? Yeah, make relaxants make hair drop they out. They do. I mean, I mean, it's it's, it's that. I mean, it's 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 the potency of the chemicals in the relaxer. Sodium lye. Um, it's a very caustic product, and yeah. um, lye is what you what you actually pour down into your into your into your plug hole when you have a blocked plug or bath or you know in the bathroom. You pour that thing, Mr. Muscle Drain Cleaner, down the pipes mm -hmm. to unblock, and I have the same ingredient in your relaxer. Hence, why it's so it's so um it's so damaging to our hair. So I do tend to say to people, if you can avoid, and I I actually did a if if you can avoid the relaxer, do so. And um, if you can't, and you feel like you need to you need to have your hair relaxed to manage it, if that's your personal perspective, that's fine. But make sure you're doing a protein treatment at least once a month. Or every mm. two weeks, make sure your hair is being strengthened. Because as soon as you use a relaxer on your hair, it weakens your hair strands by 80%. People don't realize that. Yes. And a hair is not going to tell you that. So you have to make sure you are following the correct steps to make sure your hair is then strengthened after the treatment's mm. happened. Moisturize your hair on a daily basis. You know, deep condition your hair on a weekly basis. So many things to do. Mm. Um, People often think that if they use a texturizer or a relaxer on a child's hair and make their hair easier, it will not. Um, I have I've spoken to loads of loads of parents over the past couple of weeks. A couple of parents who's have um, who use a kiddie relaxer on their children's hair just to find out the hair is all falling out now because the hair was so dry before from using um, inferior hair products, commercial hair products. And then they apply a relaxer so it dries the yeah. hair out even more, and then it, and they're not using any protein at all. And before you know it. The child's hair is thin, it's weathered, it's wispy, it's really dry, and the poor child thinks her hair can't grow. So we're in a bad yeah. cycle of hair care practices amongst black people. It's time for us to really understand our hair is amazing. I think it's one of the, the greatest hair textures on earth, you know, but we have to know how to look after it according to its texture. And sometimes that means you have to put in some work and do things you don't normally do to mm. your hair, like washing your hair weekly rather than monthly. Yes. <laughs> um, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you so much for coming on and some questions which are being, which I, I need to maybe ask you. But before we go on to the next question, before we go on to any more questions, let's just mm -hmm. seal off the six points. There was one more that you had, Sal, that you wanted to really yes. emphasize on um, today. I did. I think um, massage or something like that. Yes, massaging the scalp. Yeah. I was going to say massaging the scalp is really, really important. It's something I've been stressing a lot over the past um, over the past four weeks um, because people now have a little bit of time on their hands, and I find that if you're someone who never massages your scalp at all, once you start massaging your scalp on a weekly basis, I'll say at least if you want to see results, at least three to three to four times a week for four minutes. And that's a scientifically um, proven study that I'll talk about that in a minute. But massaging the scalp, what it does is it drives your blood flow to the roots, to the follicles underneath the scalp to nourish them and to, and, you know, and to bring oxygen there and to bring nutrients. Your hair is only really nourished via your blood. Hence mm -hmm. why if you are suffering with a blood condition, 
diabetic thyroid condition and you're stressed out which also affects your blood you see um that affected the way your hair is falling out the way your hair feels the way your hair grows as well so it's really important to massage your hair on a regular basis and also your children's hair and again i learned this from an indian lady um when my daughter was about one and a half she said to me you know what you should massage your daughter's hair every day with coconut oil I took yeah. it to a play group and I said, okay, I'm going to try that. And at that time I started, I was, I was all about hair. I'm always obsessed with hair anyway. And yeah. I started doing that and her hair just grew like weeds. I mean, amongst other things, but I know that a consistent massage routine, especially with something like this, the Ring Energizer mm-hmm. or the Great Long Scalp Serum, these two products right here are your massaging best friends. And all you need is four minutes each time. Yes. Yes. Now, ladies and gentlemen, um, Sal raised six points, and I uh, just want to sort of do a recap. Uh, let your hair breathe. Yes. Uh, add water at least once per week. Uh, trim your hair. Uh, protein mask and mm-hmm. moisturizing routine, and four minutes massage. Those are the key points. But at the yes. same time, Sal, I, I have to say, you, you're coming across like the hair doctor. <laughs> and in that case, I have to have you to come on regular, maybe once a month, to, to answer the question. I, <laughs> well, I am like a hair doctor. I've been doing this for over 10 years. I write yes. articles for Black Beauty and Hair magazine and the Hair Education Agony Art in there. So I kind of like, I see this as my purpose on this earth. It's yeah. not just a job for me. I just eat, sleep, breathe hair. And when I say um, my Instagram handle, my personal one, is called at Sal sees dry hair. And I do see a lot of dry hair, but not in yeah. a bad way. I'm not afraid to say to a lady, you know what, well, your hair looks a little bit dry. Why don't you try this? I'm saying it because I've got a solution for her. Yes. And I find that a lot of people are confused about their hair when our hair is really a simple thing. It needs just simple things mm. to stay healthy. And, and a lot of things you shouldn't do to your hair we're doing because of social media. Yeah. So a lot of the young young people, I've got a daughter who's 14, a lot of the young people I see, and she's not allowed to do a lot of things her peers are doing because I know I'm, I'm preserving her hair for her until she's in her 20s. Yeah. So I'm very particular about my 14-year-old's hair. She's, she's soon to be 15, in fact. But, yes. you know, I want she's got very long, thick, healthy hair. And I remember when she started school in year seven, and the other, her other friends, her other girls, or the girls she met initially, um, they started to bully her because they saw her hair out just one time and her hair is very long and thick and, and she had no friends for almost a couple of years because the girls were, um, I don't know if it was a jealousy thing, but they just didn't like her because she had long hair. Yes, yes. And I'm like, well, that's crazy. That's insane because anyone can have long hair. Any person mm-hmm. can have long hair, but it's just, it's yeah, a mindset have, shift. I have long hair. I have long hair. <laughs> you have long I have hair. Long hair. And I'll say this as well. A lot of black women say to me, oh, my hair, when I was a child, my hair never grew long. My sister had good hair. She had the one, you know, she had the coolie hair, whatever. It's not about it's not about hair texture completely. Obviously, genetics, yeah. they do play a part. But a lot of women you see who never had long hair as a child, now they're older, and a lot of them have now lock, have locks. That hair is really long, the locks. You yes. know, us black women can grow some really long locks. So obviously our hair can grow. And what's stopping it from growing is really what you're doing to your hair. Well, a question here from a gentleman. Why do so many mm-hmm. West Indian women wear wigs? Why do so many West Indian women wear wigs? I think it's because of, um, you know what, having natural hair, I've always been natural literally my whole life, having natural hair for a long time, it's, it's very laborious. It takes a lot of time to manage our hair. And we're not always wearing wigs because we haven't got hair, because my hair's long. I wear wigs sometimes. I've got long hair. Um, I know a lot of women and my customers too have long, thick hair, but they like to wear wigs. They might um, just switch things up a little bit. You know, black women like to change their hair. Some people who are very healthy hair conscious might not want to put um, bleach in their real hair, for example, and good hair. <laughs> so you good hair. You're good in hair. trouble. Good hair in terms of, um, <laughs> yeah. not that way. I mean, <laughs> what do I mean by good yeah. hair? Good hair to me is just healthy hair. So I meant healthy exactly hair. Right. healthy hair, yeah. not just yeah. not my yeah. texture at all. I'm not a texturist. Yeah. I'm very anti-texturism, actually, uh, Pasha. But yeah, when I say good hair, I'm certain, I mean in terms of healthy hair. Healthy hair that's maintained, it's managed well, not in terms mm. of quality or texture at all. I've got very kinky hair, um, very thick hair. But once I moisturize it as well, it's healthy. It looks fine. It blows in the wind. 
but it's about how you take care of your hair. And, and again, it's a mindset shift into thinking my hair can grow long if I want it to grow long. My hair can be thicker if I massage my scalp and put in the work on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. But a lot of time we haven't got time to do that. So we throw on a wig. Um, our, yes, my site yes. is rooftotip.com. It's on the www.rooftotip.com. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah, we. I, I saw that. You got it, yeah? Sorry, Sally. Yeah. That's okay. Sorry, Sally. Yeah. yeah, it is roototip.com. I just wanted to say to Elise Campbell, just in case she's just passing through, uh, it is scrolling across the bottom there, um, which is the website, which is www.root, the number two, tip.com. And uh, I think, uh, is that correct? Is that, oh, I did it, um, Sal? It's, <laughs> can you say She's saying so, Can you say it well, yeah? Is that correct? That spelling is correct for your site. Pasha is, is calling me out. She's trying to call me out here. She's saying, I said, what I was saying, what, what I was trying to say, Pasha, was women say to me, I never had good hair when I was younger. My sister had the coolie hair, not my sister. This is what I hear from my customers. So I say to them, but any hair is good hair, for yeah. example. And those same women who, mm. who thought when they were younger, ne they never had good hair or the coolie hair. And that's just terms we use in the black community. But um, I hear it all the time. And I, I, mm. I say to parents who, who question me and say, you know what, my daughter has, has the coolie hair. This one has, has tough hair. Her hair never grows. I said, you must never say that in front of your children because you don't know what you're doing to their spirit. Yeah. You must never say that. So the women who I speak to say to me, oh, when I was a child, mm. my sister had the coolie hair. She had the good hair. When they embrace their natural hair, maybe go on a lock journey, that hair then grows long down their back. Yeah. So if I, if I confuse you there, Pasha, I'm just going to clarify yeah. that for you. But absolutely, um, I'm not into the coolie hair yeah. terminology. Yeah. Uh, but the, hair yeah, to me, but the, maintained, yeah. well-nourished, moisturized hair. But the point that, that Pasha raised is something yeah. which is prevalent in the black community in the Caribbean. When they talk yeah. about good hair and bad hair, it's something. Yeah, they do, they do. Yeah. And also, yeah. I mean, I've traveled all over Europe doing hair workshops and lectures. I've been to mm -hmm. Brussels. I've, I did the first ever Afro hair care workshop in Milan, Italy. And um, that was in 20, 2014 and no, no, 2015. And a lot of the women over there who are black and mixed race, a lot of the children as well, are adopted by white Italian mm -hmm. people. Yeah. And they need to learn how to take care of these children's hair. And what I found is that one particular girl I can recall, she, um, her parents shaved all her hair off when she was a child because they didn't like her hair. And they made her feel so uncomfortable because they didn't understand how to, how to look after it. They just shaved it off. And that left her with huge scars, you know, um, mental scars. As she's now a 20-year-old, a 25-year-old, yeah. she was expressing her story. And I'm like, well, it's, it's so sad. And I've also done workshops for like foster carers who look after black children, white foster yeah. carers. Yes. Indian foster care, even black ones. And the sad thing is, our children, I mean, I once read an article years ago that said that you can always tell if a child, a black child's in care because their hair is never maintained or looks after or a mixed race child. And yeah. to some degree, it can be true, but it's not for any fault of the foster carers. There isn't really any information available for them. So I saw that a gap in the market in 2008 and I started, I launched my own series of workshops for foster carers, adoptive parents, right. and I've done many That's of those right. over the years. That's very interesting. As I work in the child protection system as a child care okay. lawyer, and uh, yeah. and what is what is very interesting is when we have cases whereby mm -hmm. they're foster carers, and you know, there's always the issue about oh, they're not of the same um, race, yeah. and cultural background. There's always that particular issue. So I'm sure if that pops up in any of my cases or so, I can always refer them to you as somebody who Absolutely. can uh, <laughs> the yeah, I have to be recommended to to my social work team as well. Um, I, I saw yeah. someone here saying, I'm natural, I'm natural, I had locks for 12 years. Okay. I'm natural for the majority of my life. I wear braids now and then to not mess about with my hair too much. Good. That's yeah, fine. that's what um, someone said. The only thing I would say to that is, is make sure you're maintaining your hair whilst you're wearing the braids and make sure your hair is prepped before you put the braids in. So for example, what I mean by that is a lot of a lot of black women wear braids. You might see it a lot stillborn. Yeah. A lot of teenagers wear braids, especially the ones in um in, in the UK in, in going to high school, they're always wearing braids. It's our go-to kind of hairstyle. And for a black mm. girl, a young black girl, a mixed race girl, to get your first set of braids, you feel you feel special, you feel like a superstar, because it's just nice long hair, your hair looks fresh. But what I would say is do not add braids to your hair if your hair is not feeling healthy. 
So, for example, my daughter, she's 14, and even though she has very thick hair, it grows very well, she wears braids for at least um, for, um, during her term time at school. Can you repeat prior, that? Yes. Can repeat. you repeat that a while ago? It's got a slight glitch. What is your oh, point okay. again? Just say it again. Yeah, repeat oh, what you just um, said a while ago. Yeah. Right, I was saying I was talking about if you're gonna if if you're wearing braids, the lady said a question about braids. If you are wearing braids, yes. make sure your hair is, is healthy in a healthy condition for you to add extra hair, extra weight to the strands and to yes. the scalp. There's no point adding braids to hair that's unhealthy, because what you're gonna have is more unhealthy hair at the end of that duration. So for my right. daughter, for example, or myself, when I do protective styles, I'm about to do one now, I'm gonna do twists. Um, some kinky twists at some point this week. When I do that, I make sure my hair has had a protein treatment first and it's very well moisturized um, before I add any kind of hair to my um, to my real hair. And I find mm. that sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes in the hair salon, a lady will go to have her hair braided and it's blow dried crazily, no heat protectants used. So the hair is quite weak feeling anyway. And then yeah. they add braids to it and it breaks at the end of that duration because the hair hasn't been looked after and the person might have the braids in for say maybe six seven weeks eight weeks and they haven't had any moisture to their hair at all mm -hmm. and once the braids come out loads of their hair is coming out with it it's so sad okay and one more question there um have you used rice water and if so has it worked for you and, and I have Jenna, used, I mean, yeah. yeah it's from pasha um i haven't used rice water my daughter has tried it before Kind of made her hair a bit dry. I mean, she tries a lot of things on YouTube, and YouTube is a huge place to learn about your hair. But not everything you see on there really does work. I mean, rice water contains protein um, to some degree, but the protein molecules in rice water are quite large, so it's not going to penetrate into your hair in the same way a hydrolyzed protein mask like our one will do. Um, yeah. Rice water, it's okay. I mean, people say it makes their hair grow, but it's a protein thing. So if you if you're using um, a normal source of protein, you know. You don't have to worry about rice water. I mean, me personally, I haven't got time for that. I'd rather just stick to the henna. Um, I know how that works. I've used it for over 10 years. It helped me to grow my hair to waist length as well. So I'd rather stick to things that I know as opposed to things that are trending on YouTube. Yes. And and uh, Johanna on Instagram, you see you can't hear. I, 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 I hope you can hear now. Just let me know if you can hear. Um, I think uh, Lee Pre Pete and a couple other persons are here as we're asking questions. Uh, someone is just asking this question, do you ship to the USA? I believe you answered that before, but if you can clarify a bit more. Yes, we, we, do ship, we do ship to the USA. We've got quite a few customers from the USA as well. Yes. Okay, fantastic. And, and, and finally, um, in wrapping up, if you can sort of expound a bit on some of the key products that you have so people are aware of themselves. With the Absolutely. Team. I think in your in your arsenal, if you really want to have healthy hair, there are, there are three things you need to have in your arsenal. And I'll, I'll express them in terms of what we have in our range. So, for example, you need to have a leaving conditioner, a leaving conditioner that's easy to use, a water based one. And that would be our honey rain juice. Yeah. And it's a daily leaving conditioner. But the great thing about it is it's, um, it helps you to untangle your hair really, really easily. Um, there's no product like this that I've found come across. I've used quite a few products on the market to compare them to my own. And nothing nothing works like the honey rain juice. Nothing does. Especially if you have a tender-headed child, you need this in your life. This is like, there was one lady um, actually about a week ago, she bought 12 bottles of this. And no, she bought yeah. 36 products for one child. And she's based in Amsterdam. She bought 12 bottles mm -hmm. of honey rain juice. 12 bottles of our conditioner and 12 bottles of our cream for her child's hair. So that's how our products really do work. Um, if you are somebody with relaxed hair, and there was a lady, for example, who she can't get to the hair salon. She has that regrowth. You know when you have the regrowth still born when your hair's relaxed and the new growth comes in? So she um, needed something to help her manage no her regrowth, also. her new growth. And this is one you need for that. So if you're somebody with relaxed hair, and you're struggling yeah. at the moment because it's locked down. The Triple M milk is a brilliant, um, lush kind of milky cream leave and conditioner moisturizer. You can use that also yeah. on natural hair. It works really well to leave the hair feeling soft and it just feels nourished. It looks nourished as well. Um, mm -hmm. We also have our Quench anti breakage cream. And nice. not to mention your scalp oils, they're very important for your massage too. I mean, we have a whole range, we have shampoo. We have hair butters. We have a whole range in there that just delivers 
um, nourishment at the root level. I understood very yes. early, early on in my journey that without a healthy scalp, you yeah, can't have healthy I just, <laughs> But many years ago, I used to use this thing called Stasifro. Do you know the thing called Stasifro? Stasifro, yes, yes. Stasifro, yes. Yeah. I used to break dance and, and, and I used to do this Michael Jackson craziness when I was in high school in Jamaica. Was okay. in the time of five. So I did have used a Tony C thing. I used to have that thing in front of my I, I used to have hair. Gary Curls a bit like him. I can't imagine you with hair so born. I, I know it's hard to, I know it's hard to believe, and I used to do the Michael Jackson moonwalk. And you know in Jamaica you? Very, in Jamaica where it's very hot. I'm in my black jacket, you know what I mean, <laughs> and stuff like that doing the Billy Jean. Um, oh, so, you know, yeah, so I, I, I used to, I, yeah, so I used to use a lot of things. This is used to tease me and say because I had to put something on the back of my my collar because it the would run down, the it? Would... Follow the drip. I remember that product. It was, it was highly <laughs> <laughs> stay so pro. I mean, it's still out there. It's a very heavy in glycerin, so it's quite greasy yeah. on the hair. <laughs> I do recall yeah. that product. Yeah, somebody. Yeah. I don't know if that question is for me or what. Um, somebody said, did you have Jerry Curls? Uh, I guess, yeah, I guess maybe it's me, <laughs> yes. For me, I had Jerry Curls. I don't know, Sam. Is it for you, Sam? Did you have Jerry Curls? I don't know. I it's me. Jerry Curls, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, and Jerry Johanna Curls. said, what? Johanna says, what is hair butter? This is on Instagram. Oh, what's what a hair is butter? Hair butter? Um, hair butter is kind of like a, it's like a pomade, but it's like, it's yeah. whipped. Our butter is like um, it's wit, so it's very light, and it's like a it's like a healthy kind of hair grease, I would say. Yes. But what it does is, it seals all the moisture in your hair. I was going to mention it in the moisturizing um in the, in the moisturizing tip. There are various ways to moisturize your hair, and in the natural yes. hair community, there's, for example, the LCO method, the LOC method, and all that kind of thing. So, for example, our butter is a sealant in um. For example, in the LCO or the, or the L LOC method, it basically seals the moisture into your hair, and it's yeah. also very good for for twist outs, for braid outs. Yeah. Um, I braided my hair at the front here. I use some of the butter, loosed it out. It sets the hair, but it's 100% natural yes. ingredients, so no toxins. Fantastic. Yeah, fantastic, brilliant show, very exciting. I uh, I didn't even ask you permission, but we had planned 30 minutes. Hope you're okay that we went to the hour. Yeah. Oh, you know, I can, talk, I can talk about hair till the cows come home. It's fine. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, fantastic. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you so much for coming on. And, um, of course, I'll have to ask you to wrap up any other, Sal. But um, Salwin Baxter, of course, she's the CEO of Root to Tip. Those on Instagram, um, I know you may not see her, but you can go over to my YouTube channel, which is Silver and TV, which this will be up, 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 updated, uploaded later. And uh, for those on Facebook, you can check it out at Silver and TV where you can see the full um, interview. And also on, uh, you know, the, the other thing, you can find our website as well where you can get more information, which is running at root2tip.com as well. Uh, such useful information, much appreciated. Thanks so much. Um, Sal, any last word, please? Any last thing you want Thank to you, Pasha. Pasha, yeah. I'll just, just Pasha, it's not, it's not real hair color. It's um, a hair wax, yeah. colored wax try it it's really cool yeah. but um um it's just last words really it's just really try to our hair is like a your hair is like you are you are like farmers trying to get the best hair crops guys so yes. harvest your hair growth harvest good crops of hair and you do that by nourishing the scalp oiling the scalp adding water regularly protein nourishment and just seeing how your hair behaves listen to your hair as well it speaks mm. to you You'll know if your scalp is feeling tight and sore, don't put any more pressure on it. If your edges are thinning, don't put your hair in a ponytail, don't wear the tight braids. Listen to your hair, try and connect with it whilst you're in lockdown. Think about it, yes. set some goals for your hair, and please do visit us at root2tip.com. Follow me at Celsius Dry Hair and at root2tip on Instagram, and that's root2tip. And yeah, just connect with us. Fantastic. And, and let's, so ladies and gentlemen, um, that's the wrap. Uh, but before before that's the wrap, um, Sal and ladies and gentlemen, if you um, realize that my last guest, which is was your co-guest at the time when we did the interview in 2016, um, Sal, which was Coach Chris Brown. Remember Coach Chris Brown? Yes, I did. Um, <laughs> yeah, when we, when we went on the show together, you and him, I yeah. was on my show. That's on the red chair. 
Uh, we were having an interview the other day and we we're talking about some of the six tips or so to deal with uh, mental health. And yeah. one of the things we came up about was anxiety and talk about habits. And, and while we're talking about habit, we said we're talking about 21 days to create a new habit. And uh, I said, let's make a challenge, Chris, just casually. And say, yeah, let's do that. Give person something to do, something positive, or kick a bad, kick a bad habit by creating a new habit. Mm -hmm. And we started to do that. And people are rolling in. Got a couple of videos now. I did a talk. I did a little video this morning talking about your challenge. What's your challenge? Not the typical challenge where you're dancing, but this is a challenge whereby yeah. persons can actually um, do something. So I'm going to ask you, and you don't have to answer now, but what's your challenge going to be for 21 days? What is it that you want to change for the better? Are you a procrastinator or whatever? You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, that, you know, I'm, no, I'm, I'm just showing that one out there, but, but this is, this is, this is what it's about. And also for ladies and gentlemen out there as to, so think about it. What is your, your challenge? Uh, as I think, well. I think for me, it's, um, I normally, I mean, I normally go to the gym and just before lockdown had commenced, I had a baby um, about 11 months ago. So I am still getting back to my normal self. And so I, I started spinning. I'm always worked out, but I started spinning classes, everything. And then lockdown happened. So I need to, I need to incorporate some home workouts, really incorporate some home yeah. workouts and do it on a daily basis Yes. and put everything aside and make sure I work out because when you work out that adrenaline release, endorphins, yeah. um, it's, it's, it's also great for mental health as well. And for me personally, I've, I've suffered with depression before. And I need to, I think when I work out, I feel much better about myself mm -hmm. and in terms of and the world in general. So, so working think, out for me, I yeah. think, I've, yeah. So, so do, you, do you think that the hair can somewhat as an effect positively mentally on someone's mental health side? Absolutely, your... absolutely. I think um, a lot of black women, we actually launched the Black Woman's Hair Loss Survey. We're doing more about yeah. that in the year, later on in the year, but the yeah. Black Woman's Hair Loss Survey. And I found that a lot of women who are suffering with hair loss, their self esteem and everything is affected a trillion percent. Because for a woman, if your hair looks good, you feel so much happier inside. If mm. your real hair looks good, even if you're somebody who wears wigs and weaves, if your real hair is healthy and happy underneath there, it's like a weight lifted off your shoulders. You don't mm. always want to wear the wig and weave. But for a lady who's suffering with alopecia, thinning hairline, she has she has um, untold emotional concerns and um, untold emotional distress when she looks in the mirror, if she can even face herself in the mirror. So it's really a huge thing yeah. that affects yeah. her emotional, um, emotional balance. Okay, wow, well, that's interesting. That's that's powerful. Mm -hmm. Well, um, thank you very much. And uh, I think what what may happen, we'll have to have some discussion about being the hair doctor. <laughs> yeah, that's my title. I'm the hair police. Actually, my family, I'm the hair police. I'm always like, what's going on here? Too tight. Da -da -da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> because uh, because I can see the the questions coming, and some of course, which I cannot go go on to now because of time. But yeah. ladies and gentlemen, as 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 to recap again, and for those coming in late. Um, Emika, uh, Emika, I'm going to put you on the the the, um, the 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 steps because you're late. <laughs> Sorry, <it's my laughs> friend, on Instagram, she's going to be on a naughty step. Um, but you can go on YouTube and catch us later. Some of the tips that Sal spoke about today was let your hair breathe, uh, add water at least once per week, uh, trim your hair, uh, protein mask, moisturizing routine, and a four minutes massage, and any word, Sal, to men? To men, I would say wash your hair. Wash your hair when you're in a shower and yeah. also look after your scalp. Because with men, especially young men who are in their 20s and who are suffering with or just seeing the signs of, of baldness or, you know, thinning hair or whatever else, it affects their self-esteem as well. I have a lot of men who message me and are worried about losing their hair, especially those men who wear the baseball caps all the time. So yeah. I would apply the same steps to men as well. Look after the scalp. Prevention's better than cure. Massage yes. your hair and be careful about the chemicals you're applying to your scalp. Because those things make a real difference. I didn't get a chance to really speak about the chemicals and products. I'm yes. a very strong advocate for EDCs and hair, and hair care products and avoiding those and what they do internally to the body. That's, that's another kind of show. But right. be careful about what you're applying to your scalp, people. That's really is my is my one huge takeaway from this be careful about the products you're applying to your scalp because these corporate brands see how much money we spend on our hair 
black women, black men. We spend millions, is my final point. And they market to us on Instagram and all these influencers are, are showing us products, but not always that are, well, these products are not really always made for our hair and scalp. They contain loads of chemicals that infiltrate into the body and they cocktail and layer up. And before you know it, you have fibroids, you have yeah. breast cancer, infertility, yeah. and or you're affecting your unborn child without knowing it. So please be careful about what you're applying to your hair, to your scalp, and in particular for your children. But I could go on about that for another hour, yeah. but I'm not going yeah. to. <laughs> We're going to pick up in on that one there because I also want to touch on another time, on another show about black business and what it has in the hair business as well. Yeah. Uh, you, you alluded to it briefly, but we're going to touch on that another time because Absolutely. it's crazy whereby we are the we are the key spenders <laughs> yeah. and yet at the same time we're not in control. Yeah, Never. so let's not go there now. Because that's going to be let's another not. show going on. <laughs> so, so yeah, so so thank you very much for this, Sal. I, I, do, I do appreciate it. Uh, yeah, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. And tomorrow night, hopefully, um, all being well, I'm supposed to be getting Kwame off of Kwame um, I'm talking to Mac person, talking about mental health again. We're still in mental health week, and uh, yeah, he has suffered from mental health and uh, breakthrough. So, we're gonna look at some of the issues in that. Um, uh, keeping the spotlight on mental health as well. Um, the hair is a part of mental health, and uh, many factors, uh, coping mechanism many people have. Uh, one of my coping mechanisms is eating cake. Sorry to say that. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you. Um, I'm sorry. I've seen, I've seen your cake. I've seen your cakes on Instagram. I've seen those pictures. That big old cake. <laughs> <laughs> so, so thank you very much, and uh, and Sal, you know, all the best. And you can like and thank subscribe you. to the YouTube channel, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good night and have a wonderful weekend, and enjoy the bank holiday Monday as well. Didn't know it was a bank holiday, but thank God for that. We can actually rest and do some hair products thing. All right. And just one last thing, I just want to say hair education is power. Hair education is power, guys. Remember that. Yeah. Hair education is power. Yeah. And bald education bald education is also power. You don't it have is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you guys. Bye bye. Thank you.